EES, which is pronounced EASE, is an acronym for Engineering Equation Solver. There are built-in functions in EASE that you can access from the Equations window. And to see these, you select Function Info from the Options menu, and you get this complete list uh, in this dialog. But you can also write your own functions, and the easiest way to do this is to write an EASE function directly in the Equations window. You can also write external functions and compile them in any language and then link them to ease. And this is discussed in chapter 19 of the book Mastering Ease. Internal functions that you write yourself in the equations window must be formatted as shown here. Function declarations must appear at the top of the equations window before any of the equations in the main body of the ease program, and they must begin with the keyword function. And then the function name, here function name, uh, is followed by a list of arguments. So here, input one, input two, uh, all the way to however many inputs you have. And they all are on the same line. Uh, they're enclosed in parentheses, and then they're separated by a list delimiter, uh, which would be the comma for the US system uh, and the semicolon for the European system. Uh, the function declaration must be terminated by the keyword end. And then inside of the function, you have statements. And these statements must be assignment statements or logic statements. And Ease will process these statements in the order that they appear unless directed otherwise by the logic statements. So the statements that we use uh, within a function uh, or a procedure are therefore very different than those that we would use in the main body of an Ease program in the equations window. The instructions that are entered into the main body of an Ease program uh, provide at the end a set of equations. So they are a bunch of equations. They are not assignment statements. Assignment statements uh, are those kind of statements that you would use in most high-level programming languages. The difference between an equation and an assignment statement can be understood with this following simple example. So here we have x equals x plus 1. This statement could never be a valid equation since the variable x can never be equal to the variable x plus 1. And therefore, if you enter this statement into the Ease Equation window, it will attempt to solve it numerically and basically end up giving up. Right here, you'll get some ridiculous answer that causes the residual to be small enough that it thinks it's found a solution. This expression, x equal x plus 1, is, is a valid assignment statement, though. Assignment statements explicitly assign the variable on the left side of the equation, so here the variable x, to the expression that sits on the right side of the uh, equal sign, in this case x plus 1. All the variables appearing on the right side of the equal sign uh, in an assignment statement must have previously defined values. For example, if the current value of the variable x is 8, then the execution of this assignment statement is going to change x to be 9. And if I execute it again, it will change x to be 10. So that's what these assignment statements are doing. Right, and they're, they're much more structured than equations. Each statement uh, entered in a function or procedure has to be arranged so that the variable that is being assigned a value appears by itself on the left side of the statement. And then the statements are going to be executed exactly in the order that they're entered, one right after another. And a major advantage of using these assignment statements in functions is that they allow the use of logic constructs like if-then-else statements. So then when you call a function, you use their name in an equation, so x equals, and then function name is the same name that you named the function. And then you have the argument list. Uh, a function has to have at least one argument, and it must be called with the same number of arguments that appear in the function declaration itself. The names of the argument in the calling statement don't need to match the names of the argument that are used in the function declaration, uh, but the order matters. The statements within the function can only refer to variables that are passed to the function as input variables or variables that have already been defined inside of the function itself. So it's got its own local workspace. Uh, typically, the variables used in the body of the function are completely local to the function. Uh, it is possible to define a variable as being a global variable in the main body of an ease program. If you want to do that, you would use the dollar common directive, and that's described in section 14.3 of mastering ease. And then functions return the value uh, that's assigned in the statement here, function name equals. So that's inside of the function body, you actually have to assign 
the name of the function to whatever you'd like it to return. Functions may refer to any other built-in function or procedure, uh, but they can't call themselves, so you can't use functions and ease recursively. Um, functions and procedures have to use the same unit settings, so the unit system inside of this function has to be the same as the unit system in the main program. So let's write a simple function that computes the area of the rectangle that has width w and height h. So the first thing we have to do then is declare the function at the top of the ease file. And we'll do that again with the keyword function. Uh, we'll give it the name area. And we'll terminate it with the keyword end. And we're going to have two inputs here, w and h. And then within the function, uh, we'll assign the value of the function area to the product of w times h. And this is then going to be the function, uh, the value that the function returns. And when I want to call the function, uh, you know, I, I would set w and h, and I would say a equals area w time, uh, w comma h. If I uh, hit solve, then you can see the solution window shows the calculated area. Uh, notice that here in the solutions window, in addition to the main tab. Uh, which shows the variables in the equations window, we also now have a second tab, uh, and that tab has a label that corresponds to the, to the function workspace. So if I select this area tab, I'm gonna bring up uh, the solution window shown here, and this then lets us look into the function workspace. So here we have the values of the variables in the function, and these values correspond to the last time the function was called. Uh, we can also set and check units within a function, so example, for example, the units of uh, width and height might be meters, uh, and therefore the area is going to be in meters squared. So the units of each of these variables in the main program can be set in a few different ways, but one way is I can just right-click on the variable name in the main tab of the solutions window, so that's what I'm going to do here. And if I hit solve, you'll notice that even though I've set all the units of the variables in the equation window correctly, I'm still getting these unit warnings and um, if I select check units to see what's going on I get the dialog shown here. So the unit warnings result from the fact that the units of the variables that are used within the area function have not been set and therefore they are inconsistent with each other and they're also inconsistent with the units of the arguments that are being passed back and forth between the function and the equations window. So ease checks the uh, unit consistency of the variables and functions as well as those in the equations window. So if I want to fix this, uh, then what I have to do is select the area function tab in the solutions window and specify the units of each of the variables in the area workspace as well. And that's what I'm doing here. And now when I solve, you'll see I have no unit warnings. Uh, one last thing, uh, there's also a page in the variable information dialog corresponding to each defined function. So if I open the variable information uh, window and then I select uh, from this drop down menu the function area, I'll access this dialog shown here. And this is uh, the variable information that corresponds to that, that function's workspace. So here uh, I can set the units of each variable. Um, you'll notice that uh, I can also set the display format and some other things, but I can't set the guess values and the limits, and these are grayed out for a function because they're just not applicable, right? A function only uses assignment statements, and therefore I don't need any guess values, I don't need any limits uh, the way I do for equations. All right, this is an introduction to functions. There's a lot of things you can do with them, and we'll explore those uh, in, in later videos. Uh, this is one of a series of tutorials that is meant to describe the operation of the Ease software. If you want to get more information about Ease, obtain the software, or access more of these tutorials, please go to the website fchartsoftware.com. These tutorials are excerpted from the book Mastering Ease, and, and that can also be obtained from the Fchart Software website.